Falando em um segmento que só cresce, construção civil, em especial em Orlando, um palco de oportunidades para o investidor brasileiro. A BDP é diariamente procurada por investidores para saber informações de como começar a construir. Nós fomos buscar com exclusividade o dono de uma grande construtora e fechamos uma parceria. Parceria essa é exclusiva. E trouxemos hoje aqui o dono do grupo Feltrin, que tem 19 anos de experiência, para responder as dúvidas para você. Thank you very much, Elliot. It's great to be here with you today. Garrett, é, nós sabemos que você hoje tem uma experiência bem grande, de 19 anos de atuação nesse segmento aqui em Orlando. É, o investidor brasileiro hoje tem uma forte ótica para investir exatamente nesse cenário de expansão e crescimento. Por que em Orlando? Você tem é, hoje condições de explicar para o nosso investidor por que é tão positivo o cenário de Orlando para um investidor brasileiro? Eliad, eu acho que eu tenho que responder essa pergunta com uma figura. E essa figura é 62 milhões. Você percebe que nós tivemos 62 milhões de visitantes para Orlando no ano passado? New York tinha 48. We have far surpassed New York with the number of visitors that come to Central Florida. We are the theme park capital of the world. Look at the mega corporations that have invested millions upon millions here. Disney, Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all the big guys are here in Orlando. That's why we get the 62 million visitors a year. Conta para mim um pouquinho do cenário tão positivo de Orlando. O que está acontecendo em Orlando? Conta sobre esse crescimento da cidade que está fazendo tanto investimento, as pessoas quererem investir aqui. Conta um pouquinho sobre isso. Let me give you some financial examples of what's happening in the Orlando area. The Orlando International Airport just announced this year a 1.5 billion dollar expansion to the airport. They are doing that in anticipation of the tourist numbers increasing. We have to realize Orlando is a worldwide destination. Another example, Universal Studios. They've invested in excess of 300 million in the last phase of Harry Potter. And look at the amount of visitors that that's going to increase to Orlando. The major companies I talked about are spending a lot of money upgrading the theme parks with a view to bringing more and more tourists to the area, more and more people to work here, and more and more investors to the Central Florida area. So it's really a great location to be at this point in time. Gerrit, é, eu sei que você não é nascido na Flórida, você não nasceu aqui em Orlando e se interessou pelo mercado há 19 anos, atua nesse segmento e atua com um crescimento exponencial. Conta um pouquinho por que, que você escolheu Orlando? I'm actually originally from Ireland and in 1996 I came here to just with the intention of buying a vacation home. 19 years later we have built, sold and developed in excess of 600 million dollars worth of real estate. Prior to being here I was involved in commercial real estate development in Ireland. Coming here, being the theme park capital of the world, as I said earlier, I saw tremendous opportunity in developing residential and resort type properties. But Feltra, my company, is involved in all aspects of development. We do land acquisition, we do commercial development, industrial development, residential development, Residential is either vacation resort or pure residential development. Bom, vamos falar agora um pouco sobre investimento. É sabido que você tem uma experiência muito grande porque há 19 anos você atua nesse mercado. É, no seu ponto de vista, quais são os melhores imóveis para o investidor brasileiro? Do ponto de vista que eu digo, para investimento. O brasileiro que é investidor e que quer investir nesse mercado. There's a few ways I need to answer that question for you because what I might like and what you might like is totally different to what some other investor uh, will choose. We could be looking at someone that likes a condominium. A condominium is a property they can lock up, they can leave it and they can go back to Brazil and come back two or three times a year. But the property that generates a lot of interest 
is the vacation home, which the owner can rent out when they're not here in Orlando. So therefore, the cost of maintaining a house in Central Florida is offset with the ability to rent the property on a night by night basis, generating rental income for the owner. That's what I find, and that's originally when I came to Florida, that was the type of property I was interested in buying, and trends haven't changed. The only thing that has changed is investors are looking for more and more opportunities. And our expertise is in within one hour of Disney. That's where we find rental income to be very strong. Bom, nós sabemos que você hoje trabalha com muitos investidores. É, me fala um pouquinho quais são os investimentos que esses investidores procuram. Quando procuram você, o que, que eles buscam nesse investimento? Now you're specifically talking to me about the actual investor. And no matter where I deal with investors from around the world, they really look at the hard, cold numbers. If I invest X, will I get Y? And here in Orlando, there are many different projects that they can invest in. One of the most important things that I recommend, no matter what the project is, the due diligence investigation into the land, into the property in advance of purchase is very, very important for investors. And that's where my company, Feltrum, comes in. We will perform all the due diligence from start to finish to make sure our investors are becoming involved in a very viable project that will be built and will be finished. Remember, we are operating in Orlando. When in Orlando, we have to abide by the local rules here. Acho que agora é o assunto mais esperado. Vamos falar um pouquinho sobre Joint Venture. Me conta um pouquinho sobre a experiência do grupo junto à Joint Venture eh, e o que, que vocês hoje oferecem para esse investidor. I need to be very careful when answering that question for you because invest no two investors are the same with their requirements. So what I might suggest for one may well not work for another. But I think the best way to describe to you is what I've done with investors investing in Central Florida from around the world. Um, they would set up a venture here, a company in Central Florida. Their company in Brazil will transfer money from Brazil to their Orlando um, company. And that Orlando company will invest in the particular project that we're looking at. I hope that somewhat helps you with the investor question, but as I started off saying, no two investors are the same. What drives some investors is the tax implications relevant to their circumstances. And that's where we will work with an accountant to help get the best tax advice for the appropriate person. É, bom, agora o que nós vamos falar é sobre uma, eu acredito que o que todo mundo quer saber. Uh, me conta um pouquinho, quando uh, você inicia essa parceria, é aberta uma LLC. Essa empresa, ela funciona especificamente para cada projeto? Como funciona isso junto ao investidor? In the 19 years I've been operating in Florida, we have typically set up an LLC, or an LLP, Limited Liability Company, Limited Liability Partnership. Again, go back to what I said to you about taxes and the best way for the investor to invest. But the definite answer to your question is, yes, we set up a special entity vehicle just purely for that project and that investment so that funds are not commingled. Uma pergunta que deve estar na cabeça de todos os, as, os investidores é como funciona a gestão financeira. É, uma das preocupações grandes do brasileiro é a, quando aporta um capital para participar como de uma joint venture em construir, a preocupação maior é quem que vai gerir esse dinheiro. Como que é feito isso? É, eu tenho certeza que você tem a resposta para essa dúvida do nosso investidor brasileiro. Funds for the investor are very, very important, and we treat them very serious here at Feltrum. Um, one of the things we recommend is that if the investor is investing with us, 
those monies are transferred to an independent escrow account. If it's a typical development project, we recommend it's put into an attorney um, client account. That keeps the money safe while we're performing due diligence on the project. When everybody's happy with the due diligence performed, then the money is released to be invested in the project. Nós temos muitos clientes brasileiros e eles sempre abordam algumas questões. Uma questão confusa para ele é sobre metro quadrado e pés quadrado. No Brasil, uh, se faz o cálculo pelo metro quadrado e aqui se faz pelo pé quadrado. Você pode falar um pouquinho como que é construir e, e qual o custo do pé quadrado? Very good question, Elliot, but I think you're trying to put me into a box on that one. Like some of the some of the questions we have to ask before that is are we talking about a single story building are we talking about multi-story condominium are we talking about a townhome um, a villa so let me for the purpose of our conversation say a rough guideline for construction is anything from 70 dollars a square foot you could go right up to four or five hundred dollars a square foot depending on the finish but let's take a good average for the purpose of our conversation. So 75 to 150 dollars is pretty good per square foot. Quando falamos em joint venture, logo vem na cabeça do investidor. OK, quem vai gerir todos os aspectos desse novo projeto? São várias observações que têm que ser geridas. Como funciona isso? Se o investidor faz um aporte de capital e esse capital vai ser gerido por uma joint venture, quem são os responsáveis por esta gestão? Feltrum will look after everything from A to Z. I learned that in my early days when I came to Florida. Um, when there are different people in the chain, obviously things can go wrong, no matter what country you're in. So I made a decision very, very early in our business stage. We would have all those chains with inside our building. So therefore, we look after sales, we look after rentals, we look after full maintenance. Our property management software is online. So whether you're in São Paulo, whether you're in Shanghai in China, you can log in and you can see your activity on your property management portal. That has made us very successful. Looking after everything for the client gives your client peace of mind. They're making one phone call or they're sending one email when they have an inquiry. They don't have to talk to three or four people in the chain and I'm hoping that works for you also. Garrett, muito obrigada por essa entrevista. Eu tenho certeza que você tirou a dúvida de muitos investidores brasileiros e que os brasileiros adoraram conhecer você. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada.